Casper here, and I'm starting my little series of After Effects tutorials now. I'm um, still doing Cinema 4D tutorials, just for now I'm going to focus mainly on After Effects because it's a very important program. I feel like I use it for editing everything. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So first off, I got these clips from con the Concealed Cinema Editing Competition. So I'm just going to grab a few of those. going to get the M60, the PTRS quad feed. Oh, and you can select multiple ones by holding Command or Control. Command if you're on a Mac, obviously, like me. And then I will get the Intervention quad feed. Now, quick tip, you know to make a new comp like that. Go up here, new composition. But I want these all lined up. So quick tip, just drag them all in and keep everything like that and obviously they go in line so I'm gonna make this 50 percent keeping the resolution right now at half just so it doesn't get uh, too fuzzy on me and uh, lag on my computer this I set from adaptive OpenGL or whatever to off that also helps for me but anyway enough of that let's get into it so first off, you'll see for some reason these clips. Oh wow, they don't. Normally they had a little red thing at the end, but apparently it's gone. So I don't have to worry about that. All right. So first thing we want to do if we're making a mask, we want to either use the rectangle tool or anything of these, any one of these uh, tools. You can get to them by just holding down on the rectangle tool or whatever you, is there, or just pushing Q. So you push Q, 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 Q. They change. All right. So I'm hoping. All right. I didn't make a mask. Good. Um, I'm gonna use the rectangle tool. But you can also use the pen tool for ones that I'll do on my next on the next clip. But anyway, so we just want to uh, work on the top clip right here. So we don't even want to see these other clips right now. So I'm gonna click the shy switch by not seeing them that means it they're shy. You just click it up here to activate it in the comp and there you go. Now, I want to go where after the action is. So finding him, he's shooting. He's done. And sorry I'm doing this on a game to game footage. I do real life footage. I don't have a good enough camera though. Anyway, so I'm going to cut the layer or cut the clip a little bit and uh I'm gonna split it so I can actually have the gameplay then I can have the mask so I'm gonna click shift command D so now I got that now I can just shy this alright so now that we're here we want to take the rectangle tool or whatever you want to do this is completely up to you so I'm gonna do a rough mask actually I'm gonna do three parts alright there's one There's two and three. You can always adjust. Just use the uh, tool right there. Size it up. All right, that should be good. All right, so you got these three masks right here, and you can get to them if they're not shown up. If they're not shown, just push M on your clip. Anyway, so I want to distinguish between these two clips. So I'm going to click the box with the color, and then change it to a color that I want. So I'll say purple for that, then this one I'll do a blue. Just so I can actually, I'll change it to green because they're close. Just something to distinguish each one of them, just so you don't get confused. They won't come out like this in the final, don't worry. Alright, so once you're like this, you want to set the mask path, you want to keyframe all of them. And then you want to move forward in time to when you want the clip to completely be gone. So let's say here. And then with uh, your selection tool on, double click on the mask until you get the white box. And then move it to the side uh, or wherever you want. You can move them up, down, left, right. It's really infinite. I'm holding shift to make sure it's perfectly straight. So I'll do it there. So if you scrub through, you'll just see that it moves out of the way. So I'm going to go here, do it to my green one. Alright, that should be good. Now my ma second mask. Oh. <laughs> my second mask. i got to do it like that. 
Okay. And now they're all keyframed and they're all animated. So it just kind of goes out like that. Now what we got to do is overlay our second clip. Turn off shy switch. Okay. Shine back up. So you got the first clip uh, in that area. Then I'm going to overlay the second clip on top. You just want to overlay and line it up with the first one. A uh, quick tip, holding shift actually gives you like exact stopping or it makes them exact to like whatever. So I'm holding shift right now. Alright, so I moved them there. And now you can see if you go through, it goes to that and then it goes to the PTRS clip. And that's some pretty simple masking right there. But if you want to get into something that's like a little bit confusing or harder, eh, let's just say more advanced. And shy this up now. And now I'll unshy just in case you guys got kind of got lost. So what we did, just a recap, a recap. Main clip untouched. Split the clip. And uh, you can also split the clip by going to edit, uh, split layer. So we split it, put the mask there, and then we overlaid our second clip. And now for the third clip, we want to control shift D, or command shift D while the clip is selected. And it splits. You can also go, as I just said, edit, split layer. Alright, <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is make another mask. And this time I'm going to use the pen tool. So I'm going to go like... Make a rough thing. Uh, and there's that. Type M for the masks. And obviously I'm not making these perfect. You can make them perfect for yourself. No. And you can just move that up, move this. All right, I don't know really how this is gonna turn out because it's so rough, but uh, should eventually be okay. So I'm just gonna change the colors to make sure I'm not confused by them. Blue, all right. So now same thing goes, just double click on them with the uh, selection tool. Nope. Click on one, oh man, why is this doing that? There you go. There's that. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna. Whoops. I hate when I do this. All right. Now move that. Oh wait. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. You first want to turn keyframe. Keyframe the mask path. Sorry about that. And then you go forward to like the end of the clip, and it does have that red. Ew. Alright, so now again click the blue. Wait till the box comes up. There you go. Move that out of the way. Red. Now the green. Alright. So that's all keyframe. Now they're all they come come apart like that. That's not bad. And then Take your last clip, overlay it, so it comes out like this. That's not bad. But yeah, that's just a basic tutorial on masking. So if you guys want more Cinema 4D tutorials and After Effects tutorials, uh, you know the drill. Comment down below leaving me what you want to know or what you want to learn how to do. I'll help you with that. Um, remember to like the video of course it helps me out a lot favorite it that also helps a lot and subscribe that's the main thing guys alright but thanks for watching guys and uh... have a great day